Do you ever play with friends and get that itching urge to mess with them? Do something funny that'll either annoy, scare, or make them sigh at you. I see a lot of people on the server today, Sub, and you've got that itch. So I think it's time for 19 ways to mess with your friends in Minecraft. We'll be pulling out all the stops to troll and prank them this time. Let's jump right into it. Number 1. The Event Cancellation With lots of players coming on at all different times, a lot of servers organize and host events to gather everyone in one place, either to celebrate, play games, or just to relax. It's always a great time that everyone looks forward to. So, Sub, how about you ruin that? Or pretend to, at least. As you're the admin of the server, you can disconnect it at any point. Wait until the event or meeting is about to begin, and then pull the plug. Whoops! That'll certainly get everyone confused. Number 2. The Peaceful Bet Steve loves a good competition. Claim that you can survive longer than he can from scratch. The rules are that you have to both take turns playing on hard mode, and you need to fight every single mob you see. Of course, when Steve does it, he's going to struggle. Not only is he a little bit noobish, but hard mode meets stronger mobs, and a lot more of them. When it comes time for you to take your turn, don't mention it to Steve, but switch up the difficulty to easy or even peaceful. Meaning the amount of mobs stepping in your way as you survive will be minimal indeed. Looks like you win, Sub. I wonder how that happened. Hmm. Number 3. Made you look. Steve is pretty gullible. You could tell him a whole bunch of things and he would probably do it. Find one of the most gullible server members and go explore the new nether update together. Maybe even just visit the end. Either way, when an enderman appears behind him, hit your fist over in that direction and tell him to look. Steve will most likely do so without even thinking and stare right into the eyes of the enderman. Good luck shaking that one off, Steve. Number 4. Cloning Syndrome Steve doesn't know many conspiracy theories, so he's recently been reading up on a few. It seems that he's discovered some cool information about cloning. Well, let's make his sci-fi dreams become a reality and organize for all of the members of the server to log on with the exact same skin. Oh, Steve, wakey, wakey. Look outside. There's Sub, and another one, and another. Looks like that cloning conspiracy is more real than you thought. While you wait for Steve to realize that you're all still normal players, Sub, I'm going to ask the viewers to subscribe. Hey, viewers, yeah, you, hit the subscribe button. Number five, first come first. Ninja looting is the art of working together with other players to earn lots of loot, only for you to run in and take all the best items when you're finished. This is one of the worst moves you can pull in a game, as nobody likes being beaten to all the best loot, or even worse, having it stolen from right under you as you're just about to claim it as your own. Of course, you being you, Sub, I know you'll give it back to Steve. This was only to mess with him after all. Number 6. Spawn Egg Scare Flip into creative mode for a moment. I want you to equip the scariest thing in whole of Minecraft, sub. No, not a cobweb. Not TNT. Not even a bucket of lava. In fact, it's a... Wait, it's... that's just an egg. Ah, I see. This is the worst thing you could ever do to somebody. Walking up to their building and placing a creeper. Wow, that's cold. But to mess with your friends, perhaps just the threat of the egg will be enough to mess with them. Good luck, sub. Number seven, the ghost town. Friends are always socializing, playing together, and visiting one another's houses. This player in particular loves it a bunch, so organize a day where no one logs onto the server, causing him to think that the entire place is abandoned. Number 8. The Griefer Swap on most servers, there are rules put in place, 
kind of like a peace treaty to stop players attacking each other, destroying each other's builds, and generally ruining the game. This is called griefing. Everyone's worst fear is logging on, only to find everything they've made has been destroyed. Take this to the extreme and copy the world file when no one's around. On the copy, place TNT everywhere and break as much as possible. Then watch as all of your friends freak out, thinking that they'll never be able to get back what they've lost. Number 9. Insomnia Minecraft now teaches us that it's important to get your sleep. You can't be mining and foraging for weeks on end without taking a nap every now and then. Phantoms will appear in their masses if you don't take a nap. Unfortunately for your friends, everyone needs to be sleeping in order for night to pass, meaning you can hold everyone up for days and days, causing phantoms to spawn and annoy them. Number 10. Mimic Me Parrots have a useful mechanic that allowed the mob to make the noises of the other creatures of the game, such as a creeper. You can actually set it up so that you have a locked creeper in a room and a parrot nearby that can mimic it whenever your friend walks by, giving him a real scare when he has no idea where the actual creeper is. Number 11. Unplugged one of your friends here seem to really be into their redstone. They've made an awesome looking machine. They want to show it to everyone. Maybe consider unplugging that redstone without them knowing. They'll think that it's completely stopped working and spend ages trying to fix it. While Steve tries to fix his machine, consider liking the video. You guys smashed the most recent like goal and we cannot thank you enough. Seriously, Sub is overjoyed with the amount of support. Number 12, the apocalypse is here. Hop into creative mode and equip a bunch of zombie eggs. Spawn them all around one of your friend's house and start screaming that there's a zombie apocalypse. Number 13, install a horror mod. There's lots of creepy mods and plugins out there that make the servers a lot more creepy and tense. Consider a data pack or resource pack that changes a bunch of mobs into scarier versions. Maybe change up the music tracks to way freakier versions. Number 14. Falsely accuse them of a crime. Yeah. This one's harsh, but it's all in jest. You're gonna have to set up one of your friends for a crime. Make a house and place a TNT block inside. Place a tripwire at the door and ask your friend to visit. He'll trigger the TNT and blow your house up, allowing you to accuse him of griefing. Straight to court you go. What are you gonna do, sub? Sue? Sentence them to jail? How about just letting them go? Number 15, the dark room. A lot of people are scared of the dark, so find one of your friends that is and lead him into a big room. Make sure to fill the walls with torches and place pistons behind. Wire redstone so that with the push of a button, the walls will retract, destroying the torches and making your friend think, hey, who turned out all the lights? Number 16, Roller Coaster of Doom. Steve still loves roller coasters, so why not create your own ghost train type ride? Make it like a regular coaster, only with lots of dark areas and places where mobs appear but are just far enough away to not hurt the player. As Steve gets spooked out of his mind on their ghost train, why not comment a method you've used to mess with your friends in Minecraft? We would love to know, and Sub may even heart your comment. Number 17, the aggro's on you. Change the behavior pack so that mobs will only attack Steve and not you. Then upload it to the server. Watch as he freaks out as creepers walk right by you and straight to him. Number 18, Captain Boat Breaker. Simple but cruel. Steve wants to sail across the ocean, but you won't let him. Just keep breaking his boat every time he places it, plunging him into the watery depths. Number 19, The Looming Threat. Last but not least, do nothing. 
At this point, Steve and the rest of your friends will be so paranoid that just seeing you following them around will be enough to freak them out. You've really messed around with all the players on this server today, Sub. Good job. 20 ways that really gave them a run for their money, a startling scare, or just generally prank them out. You best quit while you're ahead, Sub. We'll see you next time.